beautiful shot of New York City there. The pressure is on President Obama tonight over a piece of legislation that could eventually lead to money for the families of the 9-11 victims. The administration has signaled a possible veto just two days before the 15th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. Correspondent Rich Edson reports from the White House tonight on what could be a major confrontation between the President and Congress. And with that, two days before the 15th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks, Congress has forced President Obama to decide whether to deny victims' families the right to sue those they hold responsible. This is vital legislation. I think it would be foolish um, to veto this bill or not let it go through. I think he'd do uh, a better service to add his name to all of Congress and the will of the people. This morning, the House joined the Senate in unanimously approving a bill to allow family members of those killed in the September 11, 2001 terror attacks to sue Saudi Arabia or any nation or foreign official found responsible for terrorist attacks that kill Americans within the United States. 15 of the 19 9-11 hijackers were Saudi nationals. Victims' families say officials within the Saudi government aided them while they were in the U.S. Saudi Arabia denies those charges. A government which has protested for so long that it is wholly innocent of any responsibility shouldn't be complaining that it will have to answer to these charges in a court of law. President Obama argues the bill opens the possibility of Americans routinely suing other governments. He says that could then expose the U.S. government to lawsuits from those in other countries. Two top officials in the administration of George W. Bush agree. His former ambassador to the United Nations, John Bolton, and Attorney General Michael Mukasey write in the Wall Street Journal that the bill, quote, shifts authority for a huge component of national security from the politically accountable branches, the president and Congress, to the judiciary, the branch least competent to deal with international matters of life and death and least politically accountable. As for whether the president will veto the bill, White House officials point to earlier comments from White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest. Given the concerns that we have expressed, it's difficult to imagine the president signing this legislation. Uh if the president vetoes this bill, Congress, with wide bipartisan support for this effort, could vote to override that presidential veto. It would take a two-thirds majority in the House and in the Senate. And if that happens, it would be the first veto override of President Obama's administration. Brett? And Rich, quickly, I mean, just judging by the voice vote in the House and what we saw in the Senate, they might have those numbers. There were no on-record objections in the House or in the Senate for this. If they were forced to take a roll call vote, that could happen differently, but there is wide bipartisan support for this. Okay. Rich Edson, live on the North Lawn. Rich, thank you.